Hi everybody, my name is Brandon Leafblad. I'm the co-founder of Audio Fusion Systems. And in this video today, we're gonna to take a look at a demonstration that we did using an iPad on stage, powering it using power over ethernet to provide a charge and audio over a single cable. I'm here today at Hill Country Bible Church of Austin. I'm with my friend Matt Jones. How are you doing, Matt? Good, Brandon. How are you? Good. We're here today to do a demo of the new Audio Fusion wireless personal monitoring system. Uh, but first, I wanted to ask Matt about the stuff that you guys are already using in this space. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are using to do monitoring here. Sure. Um, so right now, we're currently using um, a live mix, uh, which this is the individual mixer that the band members have on stage with them. Um, and so with live mix, it allows us to have 24 individual channels that the uh, musician can control. And um, it can be used wirelessly or with a wired connection. Okay. So you have here on stage, you have several stations that the musicians can connect with. And I think you have, what, five live mix consoles here on the stage that will serve two musicians per console? Yes. Okay. So how does the audio get from the musicians and the instruments to, the, to their ears. Yeah, so every single uh, instrument on stage, whether it's a, a vocal mic or a guitar or drum mic, whatever, uh, it eventually ends up as a mic cable going directly into our digital console. Um, and from our digital console, there's a Dante card in it um, that will send it onto the Dante network. And um, from there, we pull it down using uh, Live Mix's own um, uh, network switch and so uh, on that switch, there is a, a Dante card that will take a Cat5 cable. And so um, over Cat5, it'll send the 24 channels to each mix um, that the band member will be allowed to control. Um, coming out of the individual mix, there are headphone ports on the front and the back, one being a 3.5 millimeter and the other being a quarter inch um, out. Uh, so you can be a, a wire connection, but you can also um, have it set over uh, a wireless that goes back through the Cat5 port um, into the hub and then out of that into another piece of hardware that will um, allow you to have analog out directly into a wireless transmitter. So Matt, this is, looks like the command center for your stage. So tell me a little bit about what you've got going on here in this box. Yeah, this is the main hub. So this is the MiG-16. And so uh, out of the digital console that controls the audio for the house, it goes out of a Dante card uh, through Cat5 into a Dante card on this MiG-16 unit. Um, and so once the audio is inside this MiG-16, it goes out through each of these ports. And each of these is a, is a mixer on stage that the band will use. And so each of these has two mixes that two musicians can share. Um, they have the option to be wired out of the individual mixer, or they can send it back into here um, to jump into this unit above. And so what this unit above does is it sends analog audio out through quarter inch connections that can be plugged directly into a wireless transmitters such as the, the Sennheisers above. Okay, so you've got five uh, transmitters here for five of these Sennheiser wireless packs? Correct. So your system here with five live mix units can service five musicians hardwired and five musicians wireless. Yes. Great. I'm here today with Tyler Andrews of POE Texas. How you doing, Tyler? Doing well. We're here at Hill Country Bible Church of Austin to do a demo of the Audio Fusion wireless monitoring system using power over ethernet. A lot of worship musicians already use an iPad on stage, but now using this power over ethernet to lightning adapter from POE Texas, we can now turn our iPad into a hardwired personal monitoring system. So Tyler, tell us a little bit about how this works. Well, power over ethernet works because you combine the data signal of your ethernet with the power to power devices. In this case, what this device does is it converts the data and power from your network into the lightning adapter that plugs right into your iPad. So now with a single cable, I can both charge the iPad and run audio for Audio Fusion? Exactly, and the best part is, is you're getting a secure wired network. You're not having to work, rely on wireless communication, and best of all, you're not having to deal with a whole bunch of cables and cable adapters that you could lose. You have one device that goes POE right into the iPad. Perfect. 
tell us how it works. So the first thing that you want to do when you're setting up your iPad is you're going to want to go ahead and power on your iPad and log into it before you connect your PoE to iPad adapter. Okay. That allows the iPad to configure automatically when you plug it in the first time. You come to the display and brightness tab and you select the auto lock and I recommend setting it to never. Okay. And that's your best bet. Then once you've done that, you're going to want to come to your touch ID and passcode. Down here is a setting called USB accessories. If you do let your iPad lock by turning on this USB accessories selection, this will allow the iPad to continue to charge and do data communication even after the screen locks for an hour. Once you set those two up, you're really ready to roll. Our device will automatically get an IP address for it using DHCP. If you would like to, to adjust your network settings, simply click on the Ethernet tab here and you'll see PoE Texas LAN. Now you can configure your IP address. You can decide whether you want to assign it automatically or whether you want to set a manual IP address or a fixed IP address. After that, you're all set up, ready to go, and you can use your Audio Fusion software how you'd like. Perfect. The setup is fairly simple. Once you already have your router in place, if you only really need four connections or four instruments or four iPads, all you need is a four port PoE midspan. It's a device that you can simply set near your router and then you run one cable from one port into it and then that you get another cable coming out to your iPad and that gives you a one port. And then you could use the second port of your router. The key here is that you use the switching function of your router that you already have. And then we just add PoE with a four port mid span or injector. If you have more than four ports, like six or eight, then we'd recommend stepping up to a PoE switch. With a PoE switch, you simply run one cable from your router into the uplink port on the switch, and then you can have up to eight ports of power and data coming out of this device. It's a very simple setup, and with this switch, you do get the added benefit of a screen and control buttons to allow you to get a little finer control of the PoE and the data communication. So all of our customers are already used to having a router on stage for Audio Fusion. Uh, most of their iPads and iPhones are connecting wirelessly, but if they wanted to have a solid charging audio connection directly from their router to their iPad, how much would that cost using the devices from PoE Texas? Well, with the quartet package where you would have four devices or less, you simply need our AT4 48 volt 60 watt. So the part number is AT dash 4 dash 48 v 60 w which runs 64.99 and that adds the poe to the existing data ports on your router each of the adapters are 84.99 if you need more than four ports we recommend stepping it up to an eight port switch our eight port switch costs 249 dollars and 99 cents and it gives you eight ports of PoE and control of all of the PoE on all the ports and some data management right here live on your switch. And then you add as many of the 8499 GAF Lightning PD devices as you need. Perfect. All right, so now you've seen this demonstration on how to uh, use your iPad on stage using power over ethernet. So you don't need any other personal monitor mixing boxes. Your iPad becomes your personal monitor mixer, and you can have a hardwired connection for all the musicians on your back line. You can still use wireless for your front line using your, your wireless router on stage. Uh, check out the description below. I want to thank PoE Texas for helping us with this demonstration today. And I also want to give a shout out to Hill Country Bible Church of Austin for hosting us here today to do this demo. Uh, check out audiofusionsystems.com for more information and download Soundcaster and try it for yourself today.